Hey everyone, in this video we're going to break down the question, what is statistics? We're going to go over some terminology first, and then we're going to break down that question further. We're going to go through some examples, so let's get started. Alright, so before we address this question of what is statistics, we first need to understand what data is. Now, data and information are not the same things. There's a very subtle difference. Information is just stuff that we know, stuff that we understand. Data is like information. It has stuff that we can understand, but we may not necessarily know that information. So we might collect data, we might have all of this data, and we might look at it and we say, I don't know anything about it. But as we discover, as we try to understand what that data is telling us, then we can you know, gain some information about that data. So data is like information, but we may not know the information embedded within that data. So when you have that data, then you're gonna to want to analyze it. And that actual analysis and the organization of that data is what is called statistics. So statistics is the organization and analysis of data. Now this is actually really important. Statistics is not the same thing as probability. A lot of people confound these two things and they mesh them together and think that they're the same things. But there's actually a huge difference between the two. And we're gonna cover those differences through some examples. So this is an example of probability. It is not statistics. Let's go through this. It says, the chance of becoming a millionaire is 14%. Now that is a probability because it doesn't tell me any information about any data. So if I look at you, for example, I can tell you that the probability of you becoming a millionaire is 14%, but it doesn't tell me whether or not you're a millionaire. It doesn't actually tell me whether or not you're going to be an, a millionaire. It doesn't give me any information about you. It just tells me potential information that might happen later on. This is an example of statistics. It says in a group of 100 Americans, 75% of them were self-proclaimed Christians. So this tells me information about a set of people. In particular, I have 100 people, a group of 100 people, and now I know information about that. And that analysis and organization of that data is information. That process is what's called statistics. It doesn't tell me about the future like the last one did. It doesn't tell me about the past. It actually tells me about right now. I have the data and I have information about that data. And that actual extraction, that analysis, um, is the statistics process itself. So the key thing that I want you to understand about statistics versus probability is that statistics tells us about the characteristics of a group right now. They are not meant for predictions. Now probability talks about predicting the future, but statistics only talks about the information of a group right now. Anyways, thank you guys so much and I'll see you in the next lecture. You just watched a video from Amore Learning. We provide free math videos and we offer many online courses. We also provide free math tutoring via YouTube Live every Thursday and Sunday at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like this video to get access to all of our free content. And put a comment in the comment section if you have any math questions. Check out all of our courses on amorelearning.org.